What's up YouTube? Have you wondered what features Procreate Dreams is missing at launch? Well, that's what we're here to talk about today. Welcome back, my name is Ben Nielsen. I'm a media design educator, and today we're here to talk about Procreate Dreams. And this isn't the video that I thought I was going to make. If you watched my previous two videos on Procreate Dreams, you know that I was pretty excited about it. I could not wait for November 22nd to come so that I could start learning this program and help you all to learn it. And my initial plan was to film just a general reaction video, kind of a first impressions video after using it. But the thing is, I was really disappointed in it. Um, it didn't do what I was really anticipating that it would do and there are so many reaction videos from people who got early access, so many early tutorials that I didn't feel I needed to do that because there's plenty out there for you to watch. So I'm here to tell you before you purchase it what I think is missing and if that's a deal breaker for you, maybe you don't want to purchase it yet, you want to hold off. Now I feel pretty confident that the folks at Savage are going to continue to iterate on this to build it up and that these things will probably be added in eventually. But right now, it's missing some things that are fundamental, I think, for me to really be able to make use of it the way that I want to. And that could just be that I'm looking at it incorrectly and it's not the kind of app that I thought it was going to be. But this is kind of just for me using it and that is as an animation app and as a motion graphics app. Those are the things that I thought that it would be able to do. And they really kind of framed it as being different than what was happening in Procreate already, which was frame by frame animation. But when you dive into it, it really is mostly a frame by frame animation app still. There's some key framing and some ability to do a few other things, but it's really focused on frame by frame animation, which I was a little confused by because we already had pretty good frame by frame animation in Procreate already. Um, but this of course expands the length that you can do and has a lot more capabilities, but it's still kind of frame by frame animation. And that's one thing that Brad Colbo also pointed out in his video about it, is that it really is focused on frame by frame animation. And if you're used to coming from a digital video editing background, it's going to seem a little bit clunky to you. So let's go in and hit five things that I think Procreate Dreams needs to have in order to really succeed that it doesn't have right now. The first one is keyboard controls. I know that Procreate has really always focused in on the pencil experience, which is great. It should be touch first because not everyone has a keyboard, but to have no keyboard controls, I can't even hit spacebar to play. And that's really kind of key if you're working in a keyboard environment, which many of us are on iPad Pros now. And so to not have really simple keyboard controls, not to be able to hold down shift to keep things in proportion or alignment, not to have that is really, really difficult for me coming from my background. And I really just think that they need to add in some keyboard controls. Many of us use keyboards with our iPads, and so we need that to come in in order for this to be a professional level app. Number two goes along with that, and that is alignment and snapping tools. Now, we've had snapping in Procreate for as long as I can remember it being in Procreate, and I can't figure out a way to turn snapping on inside of Procreate Dreams, and there's no way to line things up. So that may not be really important, for you doing hand animation if you're onion skinning everything. But if you're trying to do something like animate a title, then you need that so that you can make sure that you're in the center all the way across. And maybe it's there and I just can't find it. If you know and it's there, please let me know. I need those snapping and alignment tools in order for this app to be functional for me. Number three is we need drawing performance. So there's this new mode called performance where you can just kind of start going and you can manipulate things and it will add in keyframes as you go and it will kind of play it in real time. That's great for an object that you already have, but we don't have that for drawing on. So if I want to be able to draw on, say I'm doing a screencast video and I want to draw on an arrow pointing at something, I have to animate every single frame of that arrow. And it's very laborious when what we want is to just be able to draw on. And I was absolutely certain that this was going to come. I, If you had asked me, will this be in Procreate Dreams? I totally would have said, yes, that's going to be in Procreate Dreams for sure. I can't imagine them creating a drawing focused animation app that can't do that. And for some reason it can't. And I think that for me, that's really, really difficult because I could already kind of do that in Procreate using time-lapse. I could draw and then export the time-lapse to create a drawing animation. And so to not be able to do that in Procreate Dreams, the app that's focused on animation, that's really kind of, difficult for me to understand why that is. So I think they absolutely have to add that in so that you can draw and it will add each frame as it goes. Now along with that, one of the things that you have to do right now in this frame by frame animation is use the flipbook mode a lot. And this is very similar to what we already had in the animation features in Procreate, except that it's like 
kind of a little bit worse because you can't actually duplicate and move a frame. So one of the things that I like to do is draw a part and then duplicate so that I already have that part and then draw again. But sometimes you want to be able to do that in reverse. So you duplicate and then you move and then you erase. Um, but you can't move frames around in the flipbook mode. They're just kind of stuck there unless you know of a way. If you know of a way to do that, please comment down below and I will make sure that I get that comment on the top so that it's corrected because I just can't believe that I can't just tap and drag. I have to go back to the timeline mode to move it and that's not really a functional workflow. So we really, really need to be able to reorder frames in flipbook mode. And I don't know why that isn't just a really basic part of the whole thing. I don't know what they were thinking because you could always do that in Procreate before. And lastly is number five is we need crop keyframing. We have X and Y keyframing, we have size keyframing, we have rotation keyframing, we have opacity keyframing, but we don't have crop keyframing. We can't crop an object and uncrop an object and keyframe that. And that's really important if you wanna be able to do things like reveals and stuff like that. So yeah, a lot of these things are focused more on the motion graphics side of things than they are maybe on the traditional hand-drawn right. animation side of things. And maybe that's just kind of where I'm coming from with my workflow. But I feel like these are features that are really missing that would have been easy to add. Many of them already existed in Procreate to begin with. And so they could have just been brought over. And it just seems like oversight on Savage's part to not have these things in there. Okay, so that's it for me today. I'm not meaning to come off super negative, but I just was disappointed in this app and I feel like I had really hyped it up to all of you. So I feel like I need to be honest with you and let you know what is kind of missing from it in case you were going off of my recommendation to buy it. Do I still think it's worth it? Yes, it's a $20 app and it can do some great animation things and it's probably going to get better. So yeah, I still think it's worth it to spend $20 on this app once, but it's not quite up to the amazingness that I kind of predicted it was going to be in my previous videos. Okay, I would love to hear from you now in the comments. Go down there, let me know what you think of Procreate Dreams if you've been using it or if you've been watching other people's videos on it. Let me know what you think is awesome about it. Let me know what you think is missing from it. We'll chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.